Ah, finally, it's Canadian Premier League time. And in this video, we are going to give you a quick, to the point summary on everything about the league. To make things simple, we will divide this video into a few sections, so stick around, and we'll be right back. The Canadian Premier League is Canada's top tier soccer league, currently consisting of seven teams. Cavalry FC, FC Edmonton, Forge FC, HFX Wanderers FC, Pacific FC, Valor FC, and York 9 FC. The league will kick off April 27th and it will run until October 19th. Each club will play 28 games in total, 14 home and 14 away. The format will be in a table setting. This means when a team wins, they will be awarded 3 points. When there is a draw, there will be 1 point awarded to each team. And when there is a loss, that team gets 0 points. Now here is where it might get a little confusing. The league schedule will be divided into two sections. One being the spring season and the other being the fall season. This is known as the Aperatura and Clausura, and it is commonly used in the South American leagues. To make things simple, the winner of the spring season will face off against the winner of the fall season in a home and an away leg. The winner will be crowned the Canadian Premier League champion. Now that we got the confusing stuff out of the way, let's discuss how this league is going to help Canadian soccer and why it is such a massive deal. Canada has over 800,000 registered soccer players, and this league gives our youth a chance to make a living while playing the sport that they love. As of now, players don't have many opportunities to continue with their careers. There are very limited opportunities for further development in the local or regional leagues, and of course, the MLS. So what this league is trying to do is give players a chance, an opening to perform their talent in Canadian clubs. This will lead to being scouted and picked up by clubs from different parts of the world, which will help them grow as players even more. This is a big deal in the long run, especially when Canada competes in the 2026 FIFA World Cup. By then, the league will be more mature and established, and we may have a stronger team with a lot of talent grown in Canada and overseas. Now for some frequently asked questions. This is a Canadian league played in Canada coast to coast. League wise, the CAMPL and MLS are not linked in any way, other than sharing our love for the sport of course. Yes, Canadian MLS teams will play against CAMPL teams in the Canadian Championship. We won't go into detail about the Voyagers Cup however, but we will leave links in the description that give more information for you guys to follow. If you don't have a local club in your area, honestly, if you want our opinion, just pick randomly or draw names out of a hat, which is something that me and Pedro would, would be curious to see if, uh, if you guys actually do. But seriously, there are many supporter groups all over the country pushing for their own towns to get a club. Join with them and support through social media. The league is very active on social media and they listen to us, the fans, because we are the core of the league and that's something that we just can't stop being hyped for. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That was the summary of the Canadian Premier League as quick and as simple as we possibly could give you. We hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, check out our other videos, and of course, click that bell icon and also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. See you on match day, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one.